Hello, my beautiful cyber friends. I hope you're doing wonderful. I have a Victoria Justice spring look for you guys. This is from the premiere of Footloose. I hope you guys enjoy. Shall we start with skin? Because that's what we always start with, team. Um, I hope I'm not boring you guys, but it's the same old, same old routine. So I'm just gonna do it real quick. A little MAC Studio Finish Concealer, a foundation brush from Paula Dorf, a little of this, a little of that, bada bing, bada boom, and I'm done, evening everything out. Um, definitely put some concealer on your eyelids because we're gonna use that as a base today. Uh, the brows are perfect and defined and I love them, so obsies, I'm gonna try and recreate them. First things first, I'm gonna brush my brow hair up, like so, and kind of sweep it over to the side. Like this, and then I'm gonna do, you know, team what I always do, which is grab a stiff angle brush like this, and um, a matte brown shadow, this one is charcoal brown from MAC, and I'm just gonna fill in my brows and elongate them and define them just a smidge. So, um, pretty painless and easy, right team? All right, let's jump into the eyes, which I think are very easy, and I'm sure all of you guys are fabulous and can recreate this at home. So I'm gonna grab this eyeshadow. This is one of those baked shadows from MAC that contains two colors that when swirled together are quite pretty. And this one is called Engaging. And I do apologize if you guys can't get a hold of this guy because um, it's pretty old. But I'm sure you can find something similar. So grabbing a um, fluffy brush like this one and swirling the two colors together like so. Tappy, tappy, tap, and then just gonna apply it all over my lid and a little bit in the crease as well. So basically any sort of warm gold bronzy color will look perfect for this look. So if you can see, I'm sort of bringing the shadow up and then out a little bit, but leaving right under the brow bone arch um, empty. Just pretty simple, just like that. And now what I'm gonna do is just line my eyes on top and bottom with a regular black pencil. This is from NYX. So I'm just gonna keep the line as close to my lash line as possible. And don't forget to line your inner waterline. And remember, this is the part that is super tickly and super weird, and you should definitely be careful that you don't stab yourself in the eye. I've done it several times as I just did it, and it doesn't really feel too good. And then we're gonna do that on the bottom, um, line underneath the lower lash line, and pop some of this black on the lower waterline as well. Now I'm not 100% sure on what's going on underneath. It looks like it's smudged just a tiny bit. So what I'm going to do is grab this guy. This is a really cool crease brush. It's a number three from Chanel. You can do whatever you want with it really, but it's great for the crease um, or the lower lashes. And I'm gonna grab that same color and then just get a little bit of product on there, Tappy McTapperson, and then just sort of smudge the shadow in with the black liner. Pretty easy, right? Okay, here's a fun little trick. I'm gonna grab this big fat jumbo pencil, which is actually called a push-up bra for your eyebrows. I did not make up the names of these. Um, and I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the white side right under my brow, and then with a clean ring finger, I'm just gonna press it in, just like that. This is just gonna highlight my brow bone. And just for fun, and because I want to, I'm gonna put a little bit on the inner corner of my eye. Do you guys know what time it is now? I bet you do, you little smarties. Mascara time! So gonna apply generous coats on the top and the bottom. Let's do a little cheek action. Her cheeks just look very dewy and fresh faced. So I'm gonna go to my trusty favorite. This is Pink Grapefruit from 100% Pure Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna put it directly on my cheeks, just like this. How do I look? So I'm gonna blend this in, don't worry, with a foundation brush, like so. And to give it even more of that dewy look, I'm gonna grab this Mark Exotic Beauty, what is it called, face powder mosaic. What are you called? Yeah, anyway, I'm gonna grab this guy and put it on my face. So it's got a really nice little shimmery sheen in there. Gonna grab, use this brush, tap and tap. 
it's really nice when the light hits it. I promise it will look fabulous on you, darlings. All right, now I'm gonna use the same puppy because it's lip and cheek and put this on my lips. And it looks like there's just a tiny hint of like a little bit of a deeper liner. So I'm gonna use this color, which is half red from MAC, which on its own, I think would be really dark, but if you just apply a hint of it around the lips and then blend them in, I think it's gonna look good. Now you can just subtly blend these two colors in together with a lip brush like I'm doing. Bam, we're done team. I hope you guys like this look. I think it's perfect for spring. Um, so I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, you know I love to connect with you guys. So please like the video, leave a comment, leave a request. Definitely subscribe if you aren't already. And that's all for today. So thanks so much for watching. Gotta go.